Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with mgrmusic.com and in this video we're going to be doing a bit of a comparison. We're going to be looking at the difference between using real pedals with a tube amp versus built-in effects with a digital amp. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at modulation effects. So to my left here I have the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6 which I'm running a multi-modulation pedal in the loop of. And to my right I've got the Blackstar Silverline Deluxe which I'm going to be using the onboard effects for. So the four main effects we're going to look at are the four that are built into the Silverline. So I'm going to do a comparison between the ones in the Silverline and the ones that are in this Boss MD200 that you see on top of the 6L6 Studio 10. I've got the Boss MD200 going into the effects loop of the Studio 10. This is so it comes in after the preamp circuit. So check out the video on the channel about effects loops and how to use them if you haven't already done so. So this is going to be added after the preamp circuit. Also in the silver line, that is also where the modulation effects sit after the preamp part of the amplifier. I've also dialed in both amps as close as I can possibly get them. On the silver line, I've chosen the clean bright voice and the 6L6 response. I've dialed the ISF over to the American side. I've also kept the EQ completely flat on both amps. I have bumped the bass just a fraction on the Blackstar Silverline Deluxe just to compensate because it's a little bit brighter than the Studio 10 6L6 at the same settings. So my guitar is going straight into the front of both amps. As I said, the MD200 here to my left is going into the loop of this and the effects that are built into the silver line are already in the loop part of the amp. The only other thing in the chain is this whirlwind selector switch beside me here that I'm going to be using as an AB box just to bounce back and forth between the left and right amp. I've got both amps mic'd up with the exact same microphone, a Aston Origin mic, just to make this fair. They're both running straight into my Focusrite audio interface. Before we look at the effects, let's just check out the clean tones on both amps, just so we can see how close they are. I've got the reverb on both amps dialed in as close as I can possibly get it to. So here's the clean tone of the Studio 10 6R6. Now the clean tone of the Silverline Deluxe. So those two amps are now dialed in pretty close to each other. The silver line is still a touch brighter. This is because it's got a more in-depth EQ section. The Studio 10 just has a single tone knob, which I'm running straight up the middle. I've tried to get as close as I can with the three band EQ on the silver line. So it's pretty close, but this is just fractionally brighter. So we're gonna go through the effects in the order they appear on the effects knob on the silver line. So the first one we're gonna do is the phaser. So here it is with the Studio 10 6L6. <laughs> And now the phaser effect on the Black Star Silver Line at Deluxe. So as I'm going through these different effects, I want you guys to be listening out to see what differences you can hear. So let us know in the comments down below whether you prefer the sound of what's coming through the Studio 10 6L6 with a pedal in the loop or the built-in effects from the Silverline. So the next thing we're gonna come across on the effects knob is the flanger. So I'm gonna start over on this side again on the Studio 10 6L6. <laughs> And now over to the flanger effect on the Silver Line Deluxe. Thank you. 
All right, next up we're gonna look at chorus. So once again, Studio 10, 6L6 first. Next up, the chorus built into the Silverline Deluxe. Now, finally, we're going to look at the tremolo effect. So, first up, once again, is the Studio 10 6L6. Now over to the Black Star Silverline Deluxe. So there you go, there is a side-by-side -side comparison of a tube amp with a modulation pedal in the loop versus a digital amp with built-in modulation. Which one do you guys prefer? Let us know down below in the comments. Ultimately, remember there is no right or wrong answer with this. It's all a bit of fun and it's all subjective to your own needs. Personally, I love the sound of a tube amp with modulation in the loop. It just gives a little bit of a warmer sound. You do get a little bit more breakup on that modulation. It's not as bright and as chimey. But again, if you want that bright chimey sound, digital is definitely the way to go. As you can hear from the silver line, the modulation effects are much clearer. They're more sort of pristine and sparkly in the top end versus the Studio 10 6L6, which is a bit more warm. And obviously this is more of that kind of classic vibe sound, and this is more of a modern sound. But again, it's all subjective to your own needs. So let us know which one you prefer the sound of down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know. And if there are any other topics you'd like to see us talk about to do with your amps, please let us know, and we'd be happy to take a look at that for you as well. Don't forget to check out the Black Star Amplification YouTube channel for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher, please head over to mgrmusic.com. Check out the music teacher database there. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to take you guys to that next level. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.